GameSpot's next big game week marches on as we continue to catalog the classes of the multiplayer Monster Hunter Evolve. Mr. Hyde, I saw you, Abe, Griffin, and Maggie playing cards. What? Yeah. Yeah, we play Yuka. Pass the time. Yuka? Oh, a four-player game. So, you want to know what kind of duties the Trapper takes on? That's not a question that inspires a lot of confidence, Hunter, because it's right there in the name. You trap the monster. Getting that behemoth in a room with you and your fellow hunters is crucial to mounting its head on your wall, but first, you have to find it. Other trappers have their methods, but you, Maggie, you have Daisy. Oh, look at that cuddly little beast. Look at that adorable little alien dog here, who's a good girl? You are Daisy, yes you are! Aww, don't run away! Actually, Daisy doesn't so much run away from you as run towards the monster. She doesn't stray too far from Maggie, so in order to maximize her squid-sniffing ability, you need to stay on her trail. Once she gets close, she'll slow down and do her best pointer dog impression in the direction of the monster, so give her the attention she deserves and she'll reward you. I mean, not with the cuddles and licks that you so desperately want, unfortunately, but Daisy does have a helpful surprise for you or any of your allies that get incapacitated. Around her neck is a St. Bernardian revival device that can get you back into the fight forthwith. Handy, huh? And here you thought Maggie just kept Daisy around for her looks. Once Daisy has led you to your promised prey, it's time to dome that demon. The mobile arena is this big blue barrier that traps anyone and any beast within it. Cornering the monster is absolutely key to bringing the full killing power of your hunter crew to bear. So timely dome deployment is one of the trapper's primary responsibilities. If you miss the monster, or if the tide turns tragically against you, you can always bring down the dome manually and continue your pursuit, or flee in terror. The dome will also go down if Maggie gets incapacitated, so be wary of getting targeted by claustrophobic monsters who don't like to be fenced in. So, the monster's tracked and domed, what's a trapper to do now? Well, you've got these nifty little harpoon mines, see? And if the monster happens to get near one or three of them, THWACK! The mines automatically fire and pin the monster in place. It has a little wiggle room, but until it breaks those lines, it's basically spitted and ready to roast. Place your mines in groups to compound the tethering effect, or on high ledges to try to snag a kraken in flight. And that's pretty much it for Maggie. Don't think I'm forgetting anything here. You track the monster, you trap the monster, you snare the monster, and... Oh, yeah, she's got this submachine gun, too. Sure, yeah, shoot the monster, why not? Every little bit helps, right? Aim that high fire rate towards one of the medic-induced weak points on the monster, and you could even make a significant dent. And maybe then, Daisy will be impressed enough to give you the snuggles you so richly deserve? Eh, probably not. Maggie, you sometimes call Daisy Ruva, which I assume is her name in your native language, but I do not recognize it. It's Shona. I figured you knew every language. The trick is knowing which dictionaries to load. Ah, a Bantu language. I guess. 